Welcome, this is the Delta Math tutorial on multiplying polynomials. The difference between this and multiplying binomials is it was two terms multiplied by two terms. Here, one of them is going to be three terms, right? So you have two terms in this parentheses, then you have three terms here in this parentheses. It's the same thing. We're just going to distribute the same way here. So we have x plus 6 in the first parentheses. Then we have 3x squared plus 4x minus 3. All right? So distribute x to the 3x gets you th x times 3x squared gets you 3x to the power 3. x times x squared becomes x to the power 3. Then you did x times 4x gets you 4x squared then we do that one more x times negative 3 gets you negative 3x so the x was distributed to all three terms here now we do it to the 6 6 distributed to the 3x squared so this is going to be plus 18x squared then 6 times 4x which is 6 times 4 is 24, so this becomes 24x. Then 6 times negative 3 gets you negative 18. There are some light terms here. So you see 4x squared and 18x squared. That together becomes 22x squared. Then I'm going to change this to a different color negative 3x and 24x comes together that gets you plus 21 okay and they're both and this is negative 3x plus 24x is 21x bring everything else down so it was 3x cubed plus that and bring down the minus 18. all right 3x to the power 3 plus 22x to the power 2 plus 21x minus 18. That is correct. Okay, let's do one more problem. Same process. Here we have x plus 1, then you have 2x squared minus 10x minus 9. Alright, distribute the x over. x times 2x squared gets you 2x cubed. x times negative 10x gets you negative 10x squared. x times negative 9 gets you negative 9x. So the x was distributed to all three terms. Once we do that, we do it to the 1. 1 times 2x becomes 2x squared. 1 times negative 10x gets you negative 10x. And 1 times negative 9 just gets you negative 9. All right, we can combine some like terms. So negative 10x and 2x becomes negative 8x squared. Then we have our negative 9x and negative 10x. That becomes negative 19x nothing happens to the 2x to the third power and nothing happens to the minus 9 so we just bring those down so it is 2x to the power 3 minus 8x to the power 2 minus 19x minus 9 okay let's hit submit our answer yes we got it correct okay here you go they just put in the box here to just show it the, the distributive property. All right. But there you go. That is how to multiply polynomials.